Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you what you can do if your Dyson V7 motor head feels like there's a lot of friction when you're moving it around the place and it might also be leaving marks on your floor. Now obviously the first thing you're going to think about is cleaning out the brush here. If you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is get a coin or something in here and just give it a tiny little turn anti-clockwise and the whole thing will unplug like so. Then you just have to get some scissors and cut around all the hair and that will remove it from there. Now there's one other place to check but this isn't actually the thing that's leaving marks on the floor but still when this is out here can you see we also have this big clump up here. So get your scissors and make sure you cut that out as well because that could be causing friction on this spinning round. But the main thing that's happening on this one is actually on this bit here. So if you look at this bit, these little wheels, when you're rolling that around, should be turning on the ground. But look how much friction there is. Look at that, it's not wanting to turn at all. I have to use my finger and thumb to turn it. There's a huge amount of friction there. And that's because what's happened is, hair's got caught in here. So if you have a look in the middle, we've got a tiny little crosshead screw, a little Phillips screw. So let's undo that. And we should find that there's a big clump of dust and hair in there. All right, there we go, look at that. Can you see that there? With the hole in the middle. <laughs> so uh, that's what's causing all the friction. So let's give that a clean out. You can get a little brush if you want to make sure it's nicely clean. I'm just gonna get an old toothbrush and rub it around there. There we go. Get rid of all the dust from there and also in here as well. And what's actually happening is because this is not turning, you're physically just scraping it along the ground here and the plastic around the edge is rubbing off onto the floor. So that's why you're getting those horrible marks. Right, so that's nice and clean. Put that back on here. And then we have the screw and this washer bit here. You can tell which way it goes around because one side is just smooth. The other side has these little teeth. So make sure the teeth marry up with the teeth on here. Okay, and now I've done that up as tight as it needs to go. You can see it's not spinning anymore. And look at that now. Look at the difference between the two sides compared to that. All right, let's undo this one and see the state of that one. Wow, look at that one there. Again, you can see where it's wrapped itself around. Obviously, if you don't like dust, wear gloves. And let's do it back up. And again, spinning lovely now. So when we wheel it around now, the wheels will actually turn when, for example, we're on carpet or when we go around corners. You can see now when we go around the corner, you can see it's turning. Now let's pop this back in. And just give it a little turn to lock it into place. And there we go. Now that will work nice and smoothly again. So that's it, nice and simple. It's only gonna take a few minutes to do and it's gonna be a lot quicker than having to constantly clean the marks off your floor. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.